Great to meet you guys. Uh, firstly, Julia, absolute pleasure. Um, you've been basically appearing in things beyond your years. Oh, thank of you. Of recent years. Well done. Thank you so much. And Hazem, great performance in the clearing, what I've seen so far. Thank you. You live on a boat. I, I, I reckon I had the best time you, with this You live on a boat in the yeah. show. Is that something you, you could actually do in real I, life, do you totally. think? Totally. I, I even asked the, um, the producers to just put me on the houseboat for the whole shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I was living my dream. Oh, that's, that's magnificent. Yeah, it was really great. A sport, like a houseboat on, um, on Lake Eildon is, um, is quite a treat. Was it a hazardous uh, journey when you were filming it? I mean, it was out in the open. Did either of you get any injuries? No, I mean, oh, it was just cold a lot of the time. We were shooting in, I think, the dead of winter. It yeah. was, you know, from late June to early October, it was freezing. And, you know, there's only so many layers you can wear in an 80s, <laughs> you know, 80s get up. But... Yeah, it was it was fun. It was it was really interesting because it's such a it's just such a um, memorable costume. Yeah, of um, course. It's crazy matching with all those other little kids. It was it was really cool. I mean, it's quite amazing. None of you guys got injured because what you yeah. kids had to go through and the little yeah. holes you had to crawl out of. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did a lot of stunts. It's, it's as really well. it's really quite amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was it a wig that you wore, or it were you, was, was your hair wig. bleached? Okay. Yeah, no. Um, beautiful protection of every single kid's, including my own hair. Um, everyone that wore wigs. Um, yeah, it was really interesting to see myself blonde. I just, I, I was very attached to that wig. Mm. Um, it was a very sad day when I wore it for the last time. I called it Wiggy. It <laughs> I had a kept name. it. Maybe you kept I it as a memento. Oh, uh, I was shame. really, but I was <laughs> really pushing to keep it. I really didn't want to. Um, but it was very immersive, like wearing a wig like that for like hours sure. in the day. I also wore blue contact lenses. Um, so that was... I, I didn't know you without the wig No, the there, there were several so times. When I, so when I saw you at the end of the shoot with... with you with know, the your hair. normal look in your hair. I You're didn't like, even what? know who you were. I showed up <laughs> um, really early to set one day and everyone's having breakfast and I sat down in front of um, two of the crew members sure. and they were like, <laughs> wait, sorry, who are you? <laughs> like, so, so, did some random kid just wander onto set? Like, no, no, it's just Julia without the wig. Quite amazing. Yeah, yeah it's pretty weird. Uh, it's based on a pretty shocking Australian piece of history. Um, was any of you aware of any of the storyline before watching or uh, being part yeah. of the screenplay? I think there's a general awareness of just general cults, Australian cults. Mm. And that is obviously, you know, very heavily inspired by um, the book In the Clearing by James Palmari. It's basically the, that you is. know, fictionalised drama version of that. Um, but I think there's just a lot of inspiration taken from, you know, numerous cults and their ways with power and control and just seducing these people into this web of, you know, culty mm. um, happenings. And I think it was, yeah, it was, it was definitely a, a realness to it for definitely a lot of people. Yeah, and I, I'm a big fan of, like, true crime th stories and, 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 yeah. and, Good to hear. and cult yeah. stories. So, <laughs> so g getting, getting a, 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 a initially a read of this even before I was signed on was, was such a treat. I thought, oh, this is a great story and it's mm. familiar okay. and that's what makes it great. It's yeah. that, you know, we can, it's, it happened in our backyard and, and it's, it's a familiar story that we recognise and it really kind of touches you that way. Mm. Uh, did either of you, before landing the project, uh, read or audition for any other roles? Or did you get the roles you went for? Uh, I auditioned for Amy and I got the role of Amy. I was, I was absolutely <laughs> over the moon. Um, I didn't read the book before because I right. wanted to allow the screen version of Amy to really build herself up. But I did. I definitely took inspiration from um, the Amy from In the Clearing, yeah. the book. Um, but I think that it's, it's such, a, such a vast type of character role there's really no what way you can base it on anything because it's so unique to the show um that i really just let her kind of form herself and let let it happen it i read worked. i read the book and i'm like hang on there's no joe where's joe yeah. i'm turning page <laughs> after page and there's no one called joe so yeah. so my my role was created was, was only yeah it was it just served um served oh, our, that's great. our tv series and it was, mm. it's a, a beautifully developed um role great. beautifully yeah. written I'd yeah i've never i'd never seen or read anything like this, um, so it was it was fresh, and I yeah, yeah just went for that and was very lucky. Well, Joe's there to help you, uh, and Amy's there to, to live, to yeah. survive. Yeah, <laughs> totally different yeah. outcomes, but connecting in other mm. ways. Uh, different directors for different episodes. Mm. Did you find yourself acting differently, taking yeah. different cues? Did it affect your characters yeah, having I, different directors? They have very different kind of 
manners about them, which mm. is so interesting when they're, you know, both working on the same show. I think Jeffrey's having been a child actor himself, he's he's really good at that True. nurturing kind of kind way of directing and he's just got such a magical way about him. You know, he has such a vision for the show while we were shooting. Um, and I think Gracie's got that amazing laid back ease. She makes everything fun. She's amazing. She's amazing. But yeah, it was, it was, it was really interesting. Um, I think having such a great support foundation of directors during shooting was amazing. But they had, like we had worked with, we were working with great material. They yeah. had, they, they, um, they, of course they're different, but they slotted into the, the, the kind of culture of, of when they created the culture of, of the whole, Mm. production based on how awesome the scripts were. They did such a great and job. The scripts were really tight Definitely. from the start. So yeah. everyone knew, you know, what we were making. Yeah. There wasn't any sort of confusion about our storytelling. So that was a wonderful kind of cohesion between everyone. So, mm. you, you know, you, you, we, we just got really lucky with two amazing, yeah. Yeah. amazing very different directors. but... You know, yeah, beautiful so directors, really, really, oh, yeah, really giving. Yeah. As quality as it is, though, do you think, as a miniseries, do you think it could have been an actual feature film? Maybe it preferably or do you think that it sits think, well with a miniseries? I think it sits really well with a miniseries because there's such a, such a range of things to cover for, with different character arcs and different, you know, plot turns and mm. everything that I think that it, it can feel a bit rushed, I guess, if put into a yeah. feature film playing time because, you know, it's eight episodes <laughs> an hour, it's like eight hours of this and I, I think audiences will really get to engage with it um, and actually, you know, watch it as it comes out rather than just binge watching it in a film just for this particular And, and the hooks story. and turns and twists that you get yeah. that you can play with in, yeah. in, in serial drama is... is well, having only know, seen a couple of episodes so far, I There's, there's a few more to more. go, yeah. yeah that's good to yeah. hear. Uh, are you method actors or do you go with the flow when it comes to being on set and just clicking? How do you describe yourselves as actors? Yeah, I'd say I just go with the flow. Just mm. let it happen. I think when you're in such a trusting environment and it's such a rich character mm. um, with so much just complexity, um, it's really easy to just kind of slip into her. But she, she really, Amy didn't really leave me during shooting. I think she was always there on my shoulder. And she stayed with you. That was maximised when I put the wig on and was on set. But yeah, it's it's always very emotional having to wrap such an immersive experience with a character like that. I think every time I've seen you in Mystery in Between and Blaze, that <laughs> character has probably stayed with you. Yeah, they all, yeah. they're all up there. <laughs> they all stay with me. I can't afford to be a method actor. I've got to go home <laughs> and look after three young kids. And, they're so cute. And, you know, there's, there's, there's a responsibility to, to real life. But when you, get, when you get great material like this, you almost don't need to. You just yeah. got to, you know, do your job as an actor and, mm. and, uh, and stay true and present and the story comes out. The material speaks for itself. Before wrapping up, a couple of real quick ones. Uh, co-stars, you had a really great um, Australian cast alongside you. Yeah. Any highlights, any little moments with someone you can tell me about? On set, uh, I was very nervous because I had a lot of heavy, heavy scenes to film, um, including you know drug administration and all mm. of that kind of stuff. Um, and Kate Mulvaney was really, really lovely. Mm. She, she, she sat with me. I thought I was a bit anxious, and she, the cockatoos were flying over. And she said, "Just listen, they're squawking. They're telling you to trust your instincts." And that was just a beautiful little moment. And um, you know, Miranda was always very lovely. We did have quite intense scenes together, so yes. having that kind of um, light banter together was really lovely. And obviously and, has. And, yes. the, and, and a wonderful Teresa Palmer. Who's kind oh, of, of um, course, yeah. Who's, uh, you know, I think she's just just a knockout and an amazing human being. And, uh, you know, most of my work was with her and learning w from her and, and her brilliance with this sort of craft was, mm. was, was effortless. It was easy and it was such a kind of pleasure and an honour to work with her. Finally, quickly, uh, will we see The Clearing, the musical? I think this could be turning to wow, like a that's really a question. weird musical. I mean, gosh, the matter is quite sensitive. Wouldn't <laughs> I, know if you want I, to turn I, it. I always joke that there's an awesome prequel for for Joe's story coming oh, yes. from, coming from Lebanon, coming to Australia. Like it's definitely a musical material. It's yeah. pretty. You reckon? Pretty fun stuff. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. your time today, and uh, I might see you tonight. Yeah, maybe. Big night. Look forward to, to it. Good on you, mate. Nice to meet you. Thank you.